Right, so we, p people, including myself, have been working toward understanding some connections between quantum gravity, the space-time, and quantum information theory, So we, which is part of trying to figure out the quantum structure of space-time, which is what we mean when we say we want to understand what's the quantum theory of gravity, what's the most basic building block. Now, the, one of the particular things that I worked on that I believe this prize is for is we discovered, together with Aaron Wall, one of the other people who's winning this prize, uh, the first configuration that looks like a traversable wormhole. And a traversable wormhole is something that pro probably people have heard about in science fiction. It uh, looks like two black holes, except that if you jump in one, instead of just being crushed in the interior, you come out on the other side somewhere far away. Now, people wondered about whether such configurations were possible for a long time, so pretty much since Einstein formulated the, or discovered the fact that space and time are curved, and that's what we feel as the force of gravity. People wonder, can it be curved so much that you can have this kind of bridge or tunnel in space-time? But we used to think that it's impossible because it requires negative energy. And in our work, we found the, the first example where it can work. However, it doesn't actually allow you to get very quickly from one place to another because you need a direct connection between the two sides in addition. Okay. And, but one of the most interesting things about this story is not so much the possibility of making a science fiction-like wormhole that takes so long to get through that you might not want to do it anyway, but, I mean, which is far beyond our capacity, but is its relation to uh, fundamental issues in the unification of gravity and quantum mechanics. So in particular, if somebody travels through one of these wormholes that we understood, from the outside it will look like quantum teleportation. So there's some quantum information that describes you, or a qubit, maybe more realistically, uh, the sense of a very tiny wormhole. And you may ask, how does the quantum information get from one side to the other? So in one description, it goes through this bridge in space. But then there's another description from the outside where it looks like quantum teleportation, which is, uh, sounds very fanciful perhaps, but it's uh, an ordinary quantum computing protocol where it's just basically the quantum version of a shared key cryptography. But it's a way of sending a qubit from one person to another by comparing it to a reference. So you compare it to a reference, and then you send, the information you send isn't what you want to send, but whether it's the same or different than the reference. And so if you have the copy of the reference on the other side, then you will be able to decode it. And then in the quantum version, the two reference qubits are entangled. So that makes it somewhat different than the classical version. And then the novel thing, we can also say it from this perspective, the novel thing is that normally in quantum mechanics, we're not allowed to ask, how does the qubit feel like it got from one side to the other? So somehow its information was compared to something, and it doesn't seem to have, it's like, it sounds like you destroyed the qubit and somehow re-replicated it on the other side. But because of this equivalence to this gravitational configuration, we might say that the qubit feels like it traveled through some traversable wormhole. So now if it was really a single qubit in ordinary quantum teleportation experiment, this wormhole would be incredibly tiny, so it might not be very meaningful. But if we tried to quantum teleport you, we'll have to have a very large reservoir of shared inf information. That will look like a black hole, which is the most information you can pack into a region. It has the biggest entropy of something in a given volume. So then we'll have two maximally entangled black holes. To teleport you, we compare you to the black hole. What that really means is we throw you in which doesn't sound much fun, but then when we make some measurements on the outside, send it to the second black hole, you get to come out. Okay, so perhaps that was a little bit of a more technical description, but the, uh, the, the bottom line is that we, well, on the one hand, uh, traversable wormhole configurations are possible in gravity, um, and then on the other hand, there, is some internal description of processes like quantum teleportation in which from the qubit's point of view, it seems that it traveled through a wormhole.